Hi guys, welcome to the next 48 for Libra. Oh wow, so we got this energy of the waiting game. Time's ticking, you're waiting for something. Okay, what's coming in for Libra next 48? Prosperity begins. There's something very positive here. Something that's starting or coming into fruition. And then I have the angel of balance as well. Fell out. Okay. So let's see what the energies are coming in for the sign of Libra. Messages for Libra next 48 hours. What does Libra need to see or acknowledge messages for Libra? Okay, so I feel like you guys are waiting for something to come to a close and you're almost at the end with the waiting game and once that's closed out you can begin this new chapter um, the world card yeah the closure the completion of a cycle something is coming to an end you know it's a successful ending it's closing out the judgment this is a big decision it could be karmic there's um, supernatural, divine timing, judgment. The high priestess, trusting your spirit guides, your angels. I feel like you're connecting to spirit. Could be Pisces energy. You're very subdued. I feel like you're not anxious about this. You're just kind of waiting. The Knight of Wands, fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in the most recent past. Could be movement, travel, uh, it could be the energy of changing locations. We have exciting new opportunities coming in for you with the Ace of Wands. Something very exciting that is going to happen. The moon card. Trusting your intuition again about something that's exciting or inspiring. The tower. Oh, let's see here. The tower. The wheel of fortune. Something around you changing. The Nine of Swords is your fear. You're afraid that something is going to be bad news or something like that um, because something is being hidden. You're not getting the information. The Four of Wands. Okay, so everything um, comes into balance. This is about a great success, achieving a goal of stability, the happy home. Something balances out. So you had the balance card over there. The Queen of Water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And you have a stable situation here. Okay, what else do we have? The Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Good news, stable energy, somebody very loyal. Okay. So the moon card and the tower, your energy is the tower. So you might be um, exposing something or waiting for something and you're not aware of some change that actually happens for the best. So what is the four of wands? Six of swords. Things become easier. You're coming out of a hard situation. 
What is the Wheel of Fortune? Okay. Something is changing. There's walking away from a scenario. And what is the tower here for Libra? Three of Swords. Something that was hurtful. What is the Three of Swords? The Moon. Okay. Something that was uncertain or hidden. So what is the Moon? The Page of Water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Younger person, younger energy. What is the Ace of Wands? Okay, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. These are messengers. These are people who have messages or information. Um, so a person here decides to walk away. What is the Eight of Cups? Okay, so that's what's causing you the stress. Um, what is the World card? The Queen of Air. You may have spoken your truth to someone or told them exactly how you feel. Um, there's closure. The world is about closing out a cycle. So there may have been a harsh judgment placed on you or you. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Money, Wealth, Abundance. It could be like a coworker who you felt judged you harshly. Maybe you didn't respond. What is the Queen of Cups here? Okay, there's information that comes in very fast. What is the Ace of Rods? Four of Coin. There's some inspiration or exciting or triggering information about a person who um, is acting really immature and they don't want to share, they don't want to give, they're being very selfish. What is the Knight of Wands here? What is the Knight of Wands in the recent past? Four of Water. Someone who's kind of like a player. What is the High Priestess? Okay, the Knight of Cups. So there's a person coming in towards you with a romantic offer. You didn't, maybe you didn't tell anyone about this. Six of Coin. Could be an Earth sign. Um, it could be a job offer as well. What is the moon? It says prosperity begins. What is the moon and the three of swords? Okay. You have a choice to make. You have to make a decision. You have to pick. Um, now, what is the knight of pentacles? The knight of wands. There's a fire sign and an earth sign. Maybe there's two people. What is the Eight of Cups? Okay, so somebody walks away. They feel left out in the cold or abandoned. Okay, what is the Page of Cups here with the Moon? King of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be dealing with a water sign, child, or a Cancer. What is this King of Air? Strength. You need to be strong. Somebody could have been very harsh. Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Messenger. There's all these pages. It makes me think there's children. Um, it's almost like somebody here doesn't want to be responsible around you. And they're being selfish. And they're giving you a really hard time. Um... But they will be generous. I don't know why. So it changes from they're generous and then something changes and they sort of walk away. Um, it could be that they were being selfish and then it changes and they decide to give. What is the Eight of Cups? So 
somebody gives up they decide to not bother four of swords they they sort of cut and run from the situation this this is a weird reading could be a gemini with the lovers on the bottom and the seven of swords somebody could be hiding something um so you're basically waiting on a person here to grow up because the page of air is very young um you're waiting for them to grow up and be responsible the outcome here had ten of air the ending of a hard time but there is a hard time three of wands and five of wands and the nine of cups so you're basically if you're dealing with someone where something is owed to you you're going to have to um, be very competitive and you're going to have to demand it okay so for some reason something is un what happens is a person here just they at first were like okay I'm gonna be cooperative and generous and then they change and then they're like no I'm not and that's really odd I hate to say it, it's like almost like a page of wands it could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius this person um, it could be any zodiac the person is maybe um, they don't they want to walk away and they feel hurt so there's something here about a separation that's painful and maybe they are not dealing with this very well at all um, they want to connect with you okay so what is the outcome here for Libra star card Aquarian letting go and healing letting the whole situation go there's some kind of betrayal in a relationship or somebody feels betrayed or used but there is still love there um, the love is still there <sighs> lovers and seven of swords it's like who is hiding information I'm going to leave it here thank you for tuning in and take care